Now we're working developing news. Same-sex marriage will become legal in Rhode Island in less than 24 hours. There are many couples throughout the state planning on taking advantage of this change in law, but there are also opponents who've announced plans to protest tomorrow. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live from the mobile newsroom with a preview. Susan, when same-sex marriage becomes legal in Rhode Island tomorrow, opponents are expected to stage demonstrations in five separate locations. Not surprisingly, supporters are expected to be right there, too. The legislation making same-sex marriage the law of the land in Rhode Island was signed on a spring afternoon at the State House, effective August 1st, tomorrow. Immediately, starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow, Protesters from the conservative Westboro Baptist Church in Kansas are expected to stage demonstrations against same-sex marriage at five locations in Rhode Island, the State House, Brown University, and at City Halls in Providence, Pawtucket, and Cranston. It's our goal to have a very safe and peaceful protest tomorrow. We're going to allow this group to come and exercise their First Amendment rights. In Cranston, a police captain and a top aide to the mayor checked out the lay of the land at City Hall as they planned for demonstrations on both sides of this emotional issue. Mayor Alan Fung wants to make sure everyone is safe. Free from any type of harassment or intimidation for any individuals who want to come into City Hall, use our services, particularly with respect to any licensing that may come about with respect to gay marriage. In a statement, the leaders of the Council of Churches in Rhode Island wrote, quote, picketing with hateful language and intimidating actions serves no one and disrupts public life. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.